What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, ballers? Uh, welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball. As we talked about last time, we started diving into uh, leveling up your LinkedIn. And the reason why, like I said, I wanted to talk about this is because I believe this is so essential um, for student athletes and those who are preparing to transition out of their uh, college, university, wherever it might be. And I want to make sure that you have a tangible tool to be able to point to and say, look, you know, I had these experiences. Look, I've done this. And you can point to these things because you documented the journey through LinkedIn. So today we're going to take a little bit of time and we're going to go under the hood. Last week we talked about the purpose statement and your background photo and even the about me section. But now we're going to dive in and go under the hood. And now we're going to talk about how you can document your journey on LinkedIn. Let's get into the episode. The ball podcast. What's going on, family? So this is uh, ep- this is session two. This is session two of leveling up our LinkedIn Um, So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and what you're going to see when I do that, if you're watching the visual episode, right, what you're going to see is you're going to see my LinkedIn profile. If you listen to the audio, just follow with me. I'm going to be very descriptive. Uh, But if you, you know, if the video is out, the link will be down in the description to where you can click it and in the show notes to where you can click it and you can watch and follow along as I do and Listen, as I say, okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, share our screen and let's go ahead and get into it. So now, so now what we see, now what we see is the main, well, my, my LinkedIn profile, okay? So we see my LinkedIn profile and now we want to talk about documenting our journey via LinkedIn. So how do we do that, John? Okay, so at the top, this is the section we talked about last episode, which was, you know, the header image, the avatar photo, and our purpose statement, right? But now we want to talk about how we can, and we talked about about section uh, also, but now we want to talk about how we can document this journey. And there's a few ways I want to hit on today. The first one is we're going to scroll down to where it says experience okay we're gonna scroll down scroll 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 till you see it says experience and then we're gonna go over to the far right hand side where there's a plus symbol we're gonna go ahead and click that as you see it says add position add career break we're gonna add what a position okay so for you, just begin to think of where you are in your career. And here you're going to put the title. Let's say that you have the opportunity to travel abroad and do, um, I think it's like Books Without Borders is, is some type of event that uh, some, some institutions utilize. And we'll say that that's something where you're reading books to uh, students or individuals in another country. So we will write facilitator of books without borders, right? So we'll type that in the title. And as you can see, it has the asterisk because it is required, okay? Down below, you see LinkedIn prompt us. It says, what type of facilitator are you we already covered that facilitator of books without borders right or mm, yeah we'll leave it facilitator for books without borders so we'll leave that so this is an area where you're going to put the title of what that particular role was that you did okay then it's gonna say just under that it says employment type and this isn't required for you to fill in but I would suggest that you fill this in to what most lines up, most likely are closest lines up with what you did. So I would say hit the please select. And if it was part time, hit part time. If it was, you know, you freelance or if it was seasonal, then select that. Right. 
And then even LinkedIn says down below, learn more about employment types. This is great. If you want to learn more, you can click that employment types. And it's going to break down what those are, what those mean. Because LinkedIn wants us on the platform. So they want to make it as easy as possible for us to utilize the platform. Okay. Then it says company name. What company did you travel across or abroad with? Right. Was it a college? Was it uh, a corporation? I'm just going to type in Capital One. Cap it. Cap it to one okay we'll select it and as you see i typed in capital one and there is a logo that popped up the reason why when we um type in these corporations especially if you did work for a major corporation university whatever it might be um i personally like it on the aesthetic side if you find the the actual company and then select them because you'll then have their logo on your profile and that looks good for those people who come over and they look at your profile it's aesthetically pleasing because you see their logos and these logos represent a level of trust right a level of trust which is beneficial especially as you know you're either seeking to build relationships with companies corporations colleges whoever it is right whatever decision makers you want to impress we want to have those logos on there just so they see it and they begin to trust. Okay, let's keep going. So now they're saying, well, where was the, where was the location? If we were abroad, just like it says for the example down here, it says London, comma, United Kingdom. We'll just go with, we'll go with South Africa. I just wanted to put South Africa. Okay, South Africa. Great. Um, then just under that, it says location type. So was it on site? Was it hybrid? Was it remote? If we were abroad, then we were on site, baby. You know what I'm talking about? We was on site. So we're going to select on site. And once again, this is something that's beneficial for us to put because it's going to further give information and insight to people who haven't even spoken to us yet. So we want to put the most information we possibly can so that as they read this information, as they um, check out what this experience says, they'll begin to see, oh, this person has done this experience or that experience and they did it on site. So this person might have the ability to be an effective team member. Oh, this person might have the ability to um, collaborate well with others or they might be relational. They can take all of these assumptions all based on the fact of what we have on the experience okay so we select that then the next thing it says there's a checkbox and it says i am currently working this role or we can uncheck it and then we can you know put the dates right but if we're currently working a role we can check it and then it doesn't have an end date right because we would select the month which is uh is may currently and then the year which is 2024 and you see right here, I can just hit that save button down at the bottom. And then it's going to pop up like I'm currently working at Capital One. OK, so for the sake of this example, um, so I'm not going to select any of these positions down here of ending uh, these positions because. Oh, well, actually, I'll end these I'll end this. Because this is a series that I did for my podcast a while ago. And then also, we're going to leave these other positions, right? And we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more later. Um, but you want, to, you want it to be as accurate as possible with, you know, showing the start date of the position that you started. And then putting the end date when you end that position. So what I'm going to do now... For the sake of this example, I'm going to go down to the right hand corner and I'm going to hit that blue save button and then I'm going to save the position. Now watch what we begin to see as this saves. I want you to see this. OK, so now it's giving us the opportunity. It says it says your position has been added. Next, do you want to share your position with your network? So 
if this is a new position that you've had, right, or if this is something that you are currently doing, you can hit, go right here, hit the blue button, hit next again. And then look, it says, I'm happy to share that I'm starting a new position as a facilitator of Books Without Borders at Capital One. Woohoo! I would suggest that when you upload a new experience, if you want more people to know about it, you want to bring a little bit more traffic to your LinkedIn profile, I suggest that you share it. And the reason I suggest that you share it is because once you do that, people are going to comment, congrats. People are going to comment, hey, I'm excited for you. So they're going to bring traffic to your profile. This is a good thing, right? Because this gets us more eyes, gets us more attention, okay? But for me, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to post this because this isn't a real position for me. However, for you, if you want to even change this image right here, you can go to the pencil. You can change. It's the image within the post that was prompted by LinkedIn, right? You can hit this pencil icon that's to the top right. And then you can, you know, you can upload one of their other little fun images that they offer, you know, for you to share about you starting a new position. But for me, I'm going to X this out. I'm going to X that out as well. And then we're going to discard. Did you find this job on LinkedIn? No, I didn't. We'll, we'll just say, we'll say yes. And then we hit this checkbox and it says display the LinkedIn icon says, I helped me get this job on this prof on this position. Great. Save it. So now what we're going to see is on LinkedIn, look at the top of my positions. It says facilitator of books without borders. So this is what I'm talking about when I say documenting your journey via LinkedIn, right? This is one way you can document your journey via LinkedIn. And I know it might seem like it took a while for me to go in and break that down, but I wanted to take my time so you can see and understand how to do this, okay? And you can add any experiences on here. I'm gonna go in here and delete this off. Hit that pencil icon to the right of the experiences. Then I'm gonna hit the pencil icon again, and I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom, and I'm gonna hit delete experience. Uh, but before I do that, I wanna still show this part. I didn't show this part, right? Um, I always like to do this, so I like to go in and save the experience. But then even beyond that, what I like to do is, then I like to give a little bit of description in the experience, right? So what were some of the tasks that I did while I was working with Books Beyond Borders or Books Without Borders. What did I call it? Books Without Borders. Um, how many people did I serve with Books Without Borders, right? How many continents were we on during our Books Without Borders facilitation? And we wanna put this information in there because once again, people are going to see this experience, they're gonna read it, and then they're gonna make a determination on if they want to know more, or even if they book calls with you, or you book calls to other people, they may ask you about your experience. They might say, how was South Africa, John? And then it's not going to be weird, or it shouldn't be weird for you because you put it on LinkedIn. So be aware, anything you put on LinkedIn, it can come up through another conversation. Be aware, anything you put on LinkedIn uh, could potentially also lead to somebody wanting to know more asking more questions okay so we want to put more context in the description then even we go down a little bit more it says profile header this is the current profile headline that i have right i help people start podcasts i want people to see my profile on linkedin and know i help people start podcasts i don't want there to be if ands buts about it i want them to ask well john i'm a ceo of a company can you help me start a podcast Yes, I can. But John, I am the president of XYZ College. Can you help me start a podcast? Yes, I can. Right? So that's the what I was talking about earlier when I said the purpose statement. It says your profile headline. I call it your purpose statement because you want people to know what's your purpose for being on LinkedIn. Let's go. Okay. And then even more detail that LinkedIn gives you the opportunity to elaborate on and break down. This is the skills section, skills section. We recommend adding your top five used 
in this role. So they'll appear in your skills section. This is the area for you to brag on yourself. Okay. This is the area for you to go in, for you to dig, and for you to determine, hmm, based on what I did during my time with Books Without Borders, what are the skills that I learned, that I used, that are being developed by me being there in South Africa with the Books Without Borders? So we'll click this button that has a plus sign that says add skill and this is under the skills section where we're editing our experience okay you hit the add skills and then you can begin to type in we can type in reading let's see reading so teaching reading we can select that then we also can add and mind you let me say this you you're gonna want to be you're gonna want to really focus in on what skills did I use? What skills did I develop? And even what skills do I want people to know me for? That's a big one. What skills do I want people to see me and know that I am a person that understands this skill, that leverages this skill, right? Because LinkedIn is all about you branding yourself and other people who don't know you having the opportunity to reach out, connect with you, Maybe provide you some business. Maybe you want to bring you on to work in their company. Whatever it might be, these purposes can be fulfilled on LinkedIn. Okay? So, as you see, I put teaching reading because that's what we're doing with Books Without Borders in my make-believe um, make scenario. Then we'll also say public speaking. Right? Public speaking. And look at this right here public speaking we can select that and then what other skill do we want to select we also can put we'll put uh project manage i think i spelled that wrong project management boom okay so now we have added three skills but it says they recommend using top five so i would suggest you put in five i just want to show you how you do it uh with these three and then the last area, it says add media like images, documents, slides, or presentations. So this is the opportunity for you to add, maybe you posted a, a graphic of yourself out there, or maybe there is images of you reading or standing up speaking to this group or that group. You're going to want to add those images within there because you want proof, proof of concept, proof that you help this person or that person. And the reason why we want these things is because we want to make sure that people see us doing what we say that we are doing. But even more important than that, people seeing us doing what we say we want to do, because this is us once again, building out our personal brand on the LinkedIn platform. OK, and then watch this as you go down here and I'm going to save this, but then I'm going to delete it because this isn't a real experience for me. But I'm going to save it and you're going to see these skills down here. The teacher's reading, public speaking, project management update just below this experience. Right. So if you're listening, what I did was I I put in some experiences or I put in some skills under my experience for a facilitator of books without borders with Capital One. This is made up. But behind um, behind this little pop up. I currently don't have those skills back there. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to hit save and then you're going to see it pop up just in the back. So I hit save. Now it's loading. It's loading. You want to give it time to load, do its thing. And then it once again, it gives us the option to share the position with the network. If we already shared the position, we don't want to share it again, right? Because we want to let that post breathe and let it get some engagement. So we'll leave it. But we're going to hit the skip on the bottom left hand side. So we hit skip and then it's still loading. And then look, it says next, connect with people you may know from Capital One. I don't know anybody from Capital One, but it, it prompts us to connect with other people because LinkedIn wants us to feel included and they want us to feel welcome. So we're going to hit this skip. And then look at that down here at the bottom skills just under our Capital One experience skills teaching reading public speaking project management 
Okay. So are you are you beginning to are you beginning to get my drift? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Is this helpful? Has this been helping you a little bit, right? Has this been giving you some insight? And uh, I want to just pause for a second because I would certainly hope, I would certainly hope that this has been giving you insight. This has been giving you value because the reason why I want to do this, the reason why I've been diving in doing this LinkedIn level up sessions is because I want you to leverage the platform. I have been able to have success on the platform of LinkedIn to go from not knowing people on the platform, like personal relationship, to booking calls with people and being able to secure business by way of LinkedIn. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me now. Come close. By way of LinkedIn. So I met people on the platform, built relationships, and I was able to generate a little bit of revenue. Okay. So now I want to, I'm, I'm going to share my screen one more time and we're going to break this down just a little bit more. Um, well, actually we'll, we'll, we'll stop for, we'll stop for this. We'll stop for this session, right? We're going to stop for this session uh, because I want you to go in and I want you to take that time and I want you to begin to uh, put in a few experiences that you might've had. And just like we said before, if you've had them and you're no longer doing them, well, just put, uh, whatever date it was that you started on and then put whatever date that you stopped on. But we want to keep an ongoing track record because, and I'm going to share my screen one more time, because what I'm going to do is I'm showing you now some of my experiences. So we have my business right here where I've been doing my business for eight years, right? A little bit over eight years. And then I've been adding experiences along the time. So I added the experience of being a curriculum developer. That's still full time. That's still ongoing because I still develop curriculum. I have a podcast curriculum and I'm working on another type curriculum as we speak. Then we have student athlete development consultant that started happening in 2020. So that's why I put that right here. And that's why I look, I have a description down here. And then I talk about what I've done down here. Right. So this is where, uh oh, let's let's make sure that this and you also want to make sure that your links are accurate. Your links are accurate. So let me so I pull I just clicked on my experience as student athlete developer. Let me make sure that this link still is a working link. If not, we need to update it. Let's see. It's going to search and we're going to see if it pulls up. We're going to see if it does not. But if it does not, that's going to be an issue. And we're going to need to change that ASAP. Okay? ASAP. But um, while that's loading up, yeah, j just, just, like I, just like I shared before, we want to make sure that we provide content that is accurate, that is updated, and that will allow people to connect with us. And even further than allowing them just to connect with us, to where we can build relationships and then going further than that this will allow us the opportunity to where we can begin to generate business generate business we want to generate business right generate business uh oh so looks like that uh looks like that website actually was not a good one right i needed to update it so i'm glad we did this training so now i'm gonna you know go in here and i'm gonna update this bad boy yep so i pulled pulling a new website and we're gonna update it just to make sure that there's no issues yep Gonna get this thing updated in real time. So look, y'all can see, I'm not just saying something, but I'm a practitioner uh, of what I really say, right? I do what I say that I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna go back under Student Athlete Development Consultant. I'm gonna click that edit button with the edit pencil. I'm gonna scroll down, scroll down to the description area. I'm gonna go to the far right-hand corner and pull this box down a little bit more 
and then we're gonna go right here and then we're going to paste the new link all right and yep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and helping student athletes start podcast to position them for their career yep and i'm gonna put that towards the top because this is the well i'll go second on that because this is one thing that i really am passionate about doing then we're gonna go down to the bottom then we're gonna hit save and you always want to save. As you update your information, you're going to want to save it. Update it and save it. Update and save it. Because LinkedIn, uh, it might time out and you don't want that to happen. Right? And you see, every time I save experience, look, it prompts me to people that I may know or people that they want me to potentially connect with. But I don't know these people, so I'm going to go ahead and skip. But yeah, y'all, this is what my experiences look like. And I've documented them over time right just been documenting them over time adding video testimonials in here over time sharing podcast episodes and sharing the work that i've done right so these are things you're going to want to consider right adding these things uh especially around your experiences so people will begin to see you know you love you and we want them to know that we want them to trust like and know us so family that's gonna wrap up this episode this uh session two of leveling up your linkedin today we talked about how to level it up for experiences on your linkedin profile because it's essential it's essential if you're serious about really being able to develop and really being able to build relationships generate business but ultimately just win on the platform so we're gonna get out of here i'm jonathan jones this has been another episode of beyond the ball where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree